Hey everyone, Kristen here from Team Brushnet, and today I'm going to show you all how to create your own matching tile game using Brushnet's Match Mania template. To get started, head to the official website brushnet.io and then scroll down until you see the game templates. Look for the Match Mania template and then press the Create button to open the editor. Once the editor has been opened, head to the upper right hand side of your screen to the Levels tab and click it to open the level editor. We'll start by customizing our game's background by clicking on the background picture underneath the level 1 button. Alternatively, you can also do this on the left side of your screen by clicking the background tab, but I personally find the Match Mania template easier just customized mostly from the Levels tab. We'll scroll through the different background images and choose the one that we like the most. I personally really like this one, so it's the one that I'll be using in my game. Next, we'll customize our game's tiles by clicking on the colored tile next to the background. I personally like this red tile, so it's the one that I'll be using for my game. The next thing we'll be customizing is our introduction. I personally want to make this into a math matching game. So for that, I think I want to match equations with their answers. So that's what I'll put as the introduction. The next thing we'll be customizing is our game's closing answer. Our closing answer is what will be shown to the player whenever they complete the level. In my case, I just put awesome job. Next, we'll be customizing the amount of tiles that are in our game. You can choose between a 4x4 grid, a 4x2 grid, or a 4x3 grid. I think I'll keep it simple and just leave it as a 4x2 grid to start with. After that, we'll be customizing the collectibles in our game, and for this I'm actually going to delete every single collectible that I currently have in the game to get a fresh start. Once you've cleared out the collectibles, you'll notice the button that says Add Asset, which allows you to add any images that are available from the template under the Collectibles tab. It should be noted that since we cleared out all of our collectibles, that the collectibles on the left hand side will match with the collectibles on the right hand side. So we'll start by adding custom text. Since I'm making a game that will match equations up to their answers, I'm going to first start by writing an equation which will just be 3 times 3. Since I'm happy with this, I'll press the Add Asset button. Now that we've got the equation added, I'm going to add the answer for that equation, which is 9, and I'll add that. Next, I'll keep customizing my equations and answers, so I'm going to be making a 4 times 4, which will have 16 as its matching pair. And we'll do 5 times 5 with 25 as the answer. So this one will be 25 because it's the answer for the previous one. Then we'll be doing 6 times 6. And we just got to add the answer, which is 36, to complete that. Now that we have all of our collectibles selected, we can scroll up and click on the Game Info tab. Under the Game Info tab is where we can customize our game's title, tags, category, and description. Since my game involves matching an equation with an answer, I'm just going to call it Math Matcher. Our tags are important and need to be used to further describe our game. I'm going to include tags like math and education. Next, we'll select our game's category. By default, you can select between games for good, enterprise, education, social and entertainment, and health. For my game, I'm going to be selecting education. Next, we can choose whether or not to collect our player emails, which for this game, I'm actually going to leave that unchecked. And then lastly, all we have to do is customize our description. For my description, I'm going to put match the equation and the answer. Now that we've customized our game's metadata, we should head over to the left-hand side to choose a music track for our game. You can scroll through all the different options and press the play button to listen to all of them. I personally think that I'm going to be using this Clear Mind track, which you'll hear throughout the entirety of this tutorial video. Lastly, our game is ready to publish. We can go ahead and press the publish button to get the game published. Here you can copy the URL and share it with your friends, and you can also check out and play your game. 